Is a day trip to Lanai worth it? You bet it is. So come with us as we show you around and show you what to do on Lanai for the day. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. It's a Hawaiian Okay, Henry, what do you got in your hand? Um, Tickets for what? Um, for a boat. Yeah, we're going for a boat ride. Here we go, it's expeditions. Whoa. Best part of going out to Lanai is taking Expeditions Ferry. So you pick up the ferry right at Lahaina Harbor, the public dock right in front of the Pioneer Inn. Then you fill out the mandatory travel form for inter-island travel. That's what Erica's over there doing right now. We got our cooler for our lunch on the beach. So to head out to Lanai, there's this one ferry, Expeditions Ferry. They do a wonderful job. They've been in operation for 30 years. And to get out there is $30 each way for adult, $20 per child. There's a lot of morning departures. Like we're taking the 9.45 a.m. this morning. Look below in the description because I'll give an update on their schedule and their departure and arrival times coming back to the island. They are changing right now for 2021. But right now there's four trips a day going out. So you can head out really early in the morning and come back in the afternoon, which makes it such a perfect day or half day excursion when you're on Maui. It's a nice ferry, so you can either sit down, air-conditioned comfort down here, or ride up top and get a nice view. And right now, it's will season for us, so we're hoping to see some action on the boat ride out to Lanai today. We've already seen some water spouts, so we'll see. Oh, they're right next to us. All right, buddy, there's some whales out there. I know we can't see them on the camera, but they're there. All right, we're moving pretty fast. It is 45 minutes to get from Maui to Lanai, from harbor to harbor, and it's nine miles. So, fun, fun, short trip. Oh my gosh, I knew we made it. Thanks a lot, Captain. Have a good day, guys. Will do. All right, guys, early 2021, so we're getting our temperature done. Good. Get both of us. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Oh, you guys are good. Yeah. All right. Please wear your mask. They had a big outbreak here. They went from no cases for seven months to 79 cases. They got very scared here. So it's nice that they've opened the island back up. But remember to wear your mask, social distance, and follow all the rules when you're out here. Thanks a lot for visiting. Since we just got here, we're in the harbor right now. Let me show you a map of Lanai to show you what we're doing today and like what the layout of the island is because I always like to know where I'm located. All right, so right now we're hopping over from the harbor to the beach. The main bay is only about five minute walk. You have Sweetheart Rock or Pu'u Pe'e right at the peninsula there. The two bays separate it, beautiful little area. Up into the center of the island is Lanai City. So it's right in the center. And then from there, north, to the Garden of the Gods, and then the Northeast Coast to Shipwreck Beach. And those are the main sites to see here on Lanai. So when you get here, you do have the option of doing a tour. So if you book it in advance, your tour operators will meet you here when you get off the boat, take you on a tour of the island, go to Garden of the Gods and Shipwreck Beach. We are not doing that. We are going to take our own little tour. Link below in the descriptions for our favorite tour operators. Right out of the harbor is just a five minute walk in this direction to Hulapoi Beach in Hulapoi Bay. And that's where all the excitement is. The number one thing to do on Lanai is this beach. This beach is nice because it has toilet facilities, it has showers, and even has beachside camping. That's closed right now because it's early 2021, but this is a great camping location to come and just enjoy the islands and have a little peace and quiet with these like five star resorts right above you. Oh, he's down. Okay, you don't see this sign every day in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, we have just fallen in love with this beach. First of all, it's very quiet right now, and this is a Saturday, but there's picnic tables, there's shade, there's rest facilities, and there's stuff to do here. So first off, this beach was rated the best beach in America by Dr. Beach himself in 1997. 
there's snorkeling, excellent snorkeling. The snorkel boats come here and sit right off the bay because there's spinner dolphins out there, plus lots of coral. It's pristine because this island is so quiet. During the summer, it's nice and calm. During the winter, you have to watch out for high surf. Henry and I, with all this good stuff to do, Henry and I are gonna go check out the Keiki Tide Pool, which is a man-made tide pool that they kind of blew out of the rock. So 15 to 20 minutes past the Keiki Pool is Pu'u Pe'e, or otherwise known as Sweetheart Rock. And we're gonna go check that out a little later. So we found a new favorite place for Henry. He loves this Kiki tide pool. I don't blame him. This is pretty nice. This is the deepest it gets right here. Boom. See if we can see some fish. You saw a green fish? We packed in our own picnic today but if you don't you can head up to the four seasons and go to malibu farm restaurant and bar for some food by the way i made the best salad there is quite a current out there make sure you have your fins make sure you snorkel with a friend because it's it's beautiful but it definitely gets a little rough in some parts and i have found the best fish so far this trip um, on the east side, kind of near the Keiki Tide Pool. So that's where I'm gonna head back to. Remember when we said we weren't going to be able to sit on the beach all day? Well, we did. So right now we're packing up. We're going to Lanai City. We're taking a shuttle up. The shuttles are $10 a person up there. You can call for one, but they also usually just have them sitting at the marina. So you can just hop in one there and then head on up. It's about a 30 minute drive to Lanai City. So it's a little bit of a drive and then we'll head on back. We did have a chance to hike out to Heart Shape Rock but maybe next time. There's one Uber and Lyft on the island. Uh, they're just busy right now, but there used to not be any, now there's one. Maybe there'll be more in the future. Welcome to Lanai or the Pineapple Island. At one time, it had the most productive pineapple plantation in the world. It's home to only 3,000 residents. That's the entire island, making it the smallest inhabited island in all of Hawaii. I'm in Dole Park right now, the center of Lanai City, which is in the center of the island. And this town, like, it's perfect. It has, like, one of everything. One gas station, one school, one police station, one courthouse. So they just built a new Lanai City police station, but this was the Lanai City police station and courthouse. And get this. That is the Lanai Jail. It has two grocery stores, though. One owned by Larry Ellison. So Larry Ellison owns 98% of Lanai. He's the founder of Oracle. And just surrounding within a couple blocks are some great little art galleries, gift shops, nice little churches, all plantation style, the two supermarkets. And Lanai City has like really nice places to eat. It has Coffee Works, which is a good little coffee shop, the Plantation Deli, Paley's Other Garden, No Cut Oint Grinds, 535 Cafe, Blue Ginger Cafe. There's a lot of good places to eat here. So you don't have to stay in the resort if you are staying for the resort, but if you're coming for a half a day or a day trip out here, you have really good food options once you get here. Of course, there's a playground, so that's where Henry is. There's the little Lanai Theater over there. And I was reading how that is the most technologically advanced theater in the country, because Larry Ellison wanted to have a Lanai Film Festival. So now these 3,000 inhabitants get to watch some awesome movies. There is car rental on Lanai. You can grab one. It's a good way if you're even doing a day trip. You can go up to Garden of the Gods or over to Shipwreck Beach. You just pick up a rental car and you're off for the day. We just had a great day on Lanai, if you couldn't tell. It was, it was so fun. fun. We're probably going to come back here. 
It's a little hop over from Maui. It's easy. Thanks so much for watching. Go to our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com slash Maui for a bunch of great itineraries like this will be in our adventure itinerary. Yeah, so check it out and see how a trip to Lanai can get fit into your trip. Plus, we show you a little bit more things to do. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you. So many fish, huge 